Okay, so Suicide Squad just came out, and today I'm going to be telling you the special features and basically the cast and everything you need to know. Okay, so the first character I'm going to talk about is the Joker, played by Jared Leto. The Joker has been in many puns and has been to a lot of character designs. In Suicide Squad, the Joker is very, very different. Um, it almost seems like he's a whole nother person. Because if you compare him in the Suicide Squad movie to the one where Heath was Joker, he's become like more thug and way more cooler. Now, the Joker's weapons, he has mainly guns. And also, I reckon this might not be a weapon, but I think it could be. He creeps people out by how crazy he is. Um, his girlfriend is Harley Quinn, who is also crazy, but I won't tell you that much about her, because we'll get on to her later. Jared Leto has been in many, many movies, but I didn't think he could actually pull off such a character like Joker. Because Joker is quite crazy, but I think Jared Leto actually did an amazing job. Now, let's get on to Harley Quinn, played by the one and only Margot Robbie. Harley Quinn is such an amazing character that it's unreal. I love her so much. I think that she might be actually a bit crazier than the Joker. I mean... Just in these pictures, can't you see the crazy in her blood? Harley Quinn wasn't always crazy. She was once known as Dr. Harley Quinzel, a psychologist at Arkham Asylum. One of her patients was the Joker. She instantly fell in love because of all the crazy questions he asked her. But then one time, the Joker said, asked a really disturbing questions. It was, would you die for me? She obviously said yes because of the dying love for him. So she ended up falling into a chemical pit, which gave her her creepy looks, like her red and pink pigtails. Then one time, the Joker tortured her and zapped her. She only could see visions of her being crazy and only knew her name as not Car Carleen Quinzel, but Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn loves Joker, their boyfriend and girlfriend, but the weird thing in their relationship is that she calls him Corden. I don't know why, but they're both crazy, so they're good for each other. Also, quick shout out to Ashley. She's Harley Quinn. Well, I call her Harley Quinn because she's crazy and she likes her. Now, the captivating enchantress played by Cara Deville. Enchantress is my favourite character in Suicide Squad. She was once known as Dr. June Moon, who was an archaeologist, but she wandered into the wrong cave. She found this weird little statue that was like a bottle. She opened it, and a huge cloud of black smoke came out of it. And then it turned into Enchantress. She got possessed by her, and... She wasn't very happy about it. Every time she'd go up to her boyfriend, Big Flag, and say, get her out of me, even if it kills me. Now, am I the only Enchantress fan here? Because people think that she looks creepy. She doesn't look creepy. She looks mysterious. She looks awesome. She looks fabulous. Now people are obsessed with Harley Quinn and Joker, but I'm obsessed with Enchantress. Damn, son, 